let's now understand the concept of alignment which is uh, a key concept in the overall theory of uh, stance making alignment can be seen or can be achieved through through some kind of cooperation between and the interacting in, interactants in in a conversation when two participants or more than two participants uh, participants in a conversation uh, agree to continue with that kind of uh, conversation in order to reach certain uh, certain point or conclusion we might say that they they are aligned with each other uh, and this should be continually maintained they, they should carry on doing that and they, they, they should have the urge to continue with the discussion with each other so we as some corners of uh, thinkers think that it is uh, it is about agreeing with with one another's point of view uh, we would like to share that it's not only reduced to agreeing or disagreeing with a certain stance or point of view being mentioned in in a certain interaction rather it's more than that it's it's about getting along it's about working together with the other interactants or in other words we we can say that agreement or on a certain stance or proposition could be one kind of alignment but there are many other kinds of alignment also for example we can see activity alignment which actually means when two interactants or participants in a conversation agree to wor work together and to move on with the discussion and there are thus multiple ways of seeing or showing alignment in transcript uh, of talk uh, and in various kinds of talks there could be various kinds of tokens or ways of showing your alignment your desire to carry on uh, with with the discussion or talk Ch charles goodwin in one of his uh, pioneer studies have shown various ways of mutual engagement or alignment uh, mutual engagement can be a proper can be a useful term to explain uh, alignment uh, in critical discourse analysis and uh, they're focusing both on the talk of the participants as well as physical aspects of interaction uh, and uh, therefore uh, he shows that how uh, we can we can reflect or we can understand the elements of alignment in a discussion uh, another good example is Stiver's uh, study of uh, the alignment in storytelling who, who makes a distinction between alignment and affiliation according to Stiver's alignment uh, is a desire to carry on is a kind of cooper cooperative activity uh, in, a, in, in a discussion or, or in, a, in an act of talk which shows that uh, the interactants are ready to carry on with the activity on the other side affiliation is when when there is some kind of uh, evaluation of uh, of the activity or one of the participants uh, displays support and in, endorses uh, the storyteller or one interactant's point of view and this can be reflected in in expressions like uh, i agree i disagree i like i dislike so it's it's kind of approving others point of view and if uh, somebody is not approving others point of view this may be lack of affiliation or the absence of affiliation for example uh, further explaining in Stiver's study which was uh, which was published in 2008 we could see that the words like funny sad horrible or exciting uh, were mentioned uh, by the listener to a story uh, not to show some kind of affiliation or uh, or a kind of approval of what the story was being told rather it was a desire it, it these were some minor comments to show some kind of uh, some some kind of approval of the fact that the story must go on so it it provides verbal and physical tokens that align with the activity of story storytelling and not necessarily it was a kind of affiliation or approval of what was being told so uh, we might conclude that uh, interactants in a conversation may uh, align with each other without being affiliated with each other.